All right, at two minutes past six o'clock, our top story, a Smithfield couple will appear before a judge later this morning. Police say their twin babies were found severely abused, and one of them died yesterday. Ten of your side's Liz Palka joins us now from the Isle of Wight Sheriff's Office with the latest on the investigation. Again, one of those little four-month-old babies died yesterday. That certainly changes things legally for these parents. What charges are they currently facing? Well, Carrie, right now both parents are facing two charges of, of felony abuse and child neglect. There are no murder charges right now. Uh, Captain Gaddis with the Isle of Wight Sheriff's Office did tell us yesterday that a murder charge could come at some point, but it's something that the Commonwealth's attorney is still investigating. Both twins suffered fra fractures to their skulls, fractures to their ribs, and bruises on their bodies. Piper is the twin that died. Investigators have told us that Piper also had burns on the bottom of her feet. Now, Piper's twin, Ella, is in stable condition. Meanwhile, both parents are in jail. How did your babies get these injuries? How the did you get this job? Robert Malinsky turned his questions on us while being arrested. Mary Leanne Webb stayed silent. Investigators say their twins, Piper and Ella, were found inside their Smithfield home Sunday. The babies had injuries that left investigators cringing. I've seen a lot of child abuse cases, but I've never seen one as bad as this one with children as young as this. Captain Rick Gaddis says Malinsky made a frantic 911 call on Sunday night. Piper had shortness of breath and wasn't responding. She was flown via Nightingale helicopter to Norfolk General. Ella had similar injuries. Both have skull fractures. Both have broken and partially healed uh, ribs. Um, one of them has uh, burns to the bottom of her feet and uh, bruises and contusions uh, pretty much everywhere on their bodies. Gaddis said the baby who died, Piper, had burns on her feet, possibly from a kerosene heater. That heater was taken in as evidence. Gaddis says a murder charge could come at some point. Right now the Commonwealth attorney here in Isla White is examining all the evidence to select the appropriate charge. Investigators tell us the other twin, Ella, and Webb's four-year-old daughter are in the custody of Child Protective Services. Malinsky and Webb will appear in court today in Isle of Wight, and we will be there and bring you any updates as we get them. Live in Isle of Wight, Liz Palka, 10 on your side.